Senkaku Games. Hi there everybody, it's uh, Neil from Senkaku Games. I'm just going to be running through a little um, guide and how to find this file in order to uh, change your render distance. Uh, basically, if you have installed the game from the actual website for Planetside, which is planetside2.com, uh, it is actually in a different location from those Steam users. Unfortunately for Steam users, it's dependent on where you actually install Steam games. Uh, this is something that you'll need to um, browse around your computer to find, uh, but I'll pop into my steam in a second and we can uh, have a look at that so first of all let's um, just pop into the C drive or whichever drive you have your default um, drive as uh, you go to your users file uh, folder and then go to the public user uh, this public user will then bring you to this folder here and you will have a Sony online entertainment folder which is where your game is stored. If you go into here, installed games, planet side 2 okay and uh, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the folder we will come across the uh, users option file. This is a might, it depends if you've opened config files. I think this is a CFG file but uh, it should say configuration settings. If not, it would just say CFG file. Um, to edit it, you're going to open it with either WordPad or Notepad. Let's just use WordPad. Unfortunately, it was on another screen. And uh, you have all your settings here. Okay, so this uh, comes up with your user options, which has quite a lot of different configurations in here that you can mess around with. I mean, make up a backup, uh, make a backup of this file beforehand, like copy and then paste, and then its user options copy. The game won't actually use this file unless you uh, press F2 and rename it back. I'm just going to press escape to cancel that. But uh, if you've got a backup copy then at least if you make any changes here and the game goes haywire you can revert back to original settings. Okay so um, basically the option that we're looking for is at the very top and we have render distance. So for those that don't actually understand what render distance is we'll just uh, draw a circle Let's see, we'll just do a box of 1000 by 1000. Oh, my battery in my phone is dying. Um, and then we'll draw a circle here. Ish. Okay, so we have, let's say, this is not accurate, but let's just say this is the center of the circle here. Okay. Um, basically, if this is the center of the circle, this is your point, your render distance is currently set to 99,999, no, 999, um, which is from this point, oh, cancel, from this point to the edge here, that is 999. 999 and again from this point to here 999,999 in every direction around your character this is how far it's going to draw so obviously if we were to make this render distance smaller and it was there okay we'll apply that there and uh, we'll just move this so Okay, so if this is your uh, center of your circle here, your render distance from here to here is going to be less. So instead of rendering everything all the way out here, you've got all this empty space now that you're not rendering, allowing your computer uh, to breathe a little, basically. The only bit it needs to render is everything inside this circle here. So now we've run over the render distance, uh, this is all the settings that you would set inside the game, uh, which I've actually done another guide for. What you're going to have to do is just experiment with um, different distances like 1000, try 1000, you don't need the dot, you can have the dot if you want, you can have 100, 
0 or you can have dot 0 0 or you can just leave it just like that um, experiment with that try that see how it works if that doesn't work too well uh, put it down to 800 I wouldn't advise going under 800 because obviously the more you increase, uh, decrease this number, the less you're going to see ahead of you. So you might not see, for example, my mosquito coming towards you, ready to shoot you, because you've reduced your render distance to so low. As I explained earlier, I don't actually have uh, Planetside 2 through Steam. Um, I acquired it on the day of launch through the website, as it was a bit quicker in downloading than Steam. Um, to find your Steam game, uh, you're going to have to go into whichever drive you've installed Steam onto, and in my case it's not the C drive, but if you pretend this is your C drive, you just go to your C drive, um, then it may be program files steam or it may be steam it's all dependent on what you chose the day you installed steam once you've found this folder you have another folder in there called steam apps and and then a common folder called well common uh, go in here and you'll have all the games that you've installed through your steam application um, these are all the ones I have don't starve Dota 2, Left Dead, Monopoly and Towns, every single game that I've bought, I bought and I actually installed. Obviously if you've not installed them, uh, they won't show here, but they'll still be a purchased game. Obviously Planet Side 2 is free, so as soon as you click download, it's just going to go straight in there, into your uh, Steam Apps common folder, and again, it's just the same. Go into the, your Planet Side 2 and uh, browse to the same file and edit the same file. So hopefully this um, little guide has helped uh, with your render distance problems if you're rendering too much obviously it's going to affect your FPS um, please check out the other video in regards to setting your in-game settings for graphics to potentially get a better FPS by um, customizing it around your hardware Pop along to uh, pop along to com and uh, check out the full written explanation of how to make this change. And um, we also have a full written guide on how to increase your FPS. It's about four to five pages long. I'll put a link in the description. If you check that out, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, detail on understanding your hardware and if you can run the game properly and obviously it's got links for all the videos in regards to FPS. So thanks for watching this video. If you've got any comments, throw them in below or hit our forums at syncakigames.com. Uh, we'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Like this video and I'll talk to you in another one. Ciao!